This is the kind of day where a driver like this can make a big splash. And you know what? I hope he does. Lead me up to the moment where you got out of the race car. So we got the damage, of course, in the wreck of the 27th 02. Uh, come down pit road, you know, it's cold. There's a lot of damage there. Whole hood's wrinkled up. So we're trying to heat bear bond up with torches, get the stick, and it just it wasn't sticking. Crotch is out. It's Orange and my spotter comes over the radio and he says, hey, uh, so NASCAR says you got to park it. They just said that we extended the caution. They want to park it. Well, it's probably 92 making way to the garage where you're not scoring him any longer. Well, at that point in time, I stopped at the start finish line. I wasn't planning on it. And Reed finally came back over and he's like, yeah, we're parked. I don't know what to say, but we're done now, right? We're in. Like, well, I'm already parked. So I just got out. Come out. Look at this. this what an exit. Wave and see you later. The fans like exploded, so I turned around and, and way back to them too, and I think that escalated the situation <laughs> pretty big. The driver, owner, and crew chief of the 92 they need to meet in the Xfinity Hall at post race. Once you get to the hauler, you're you're basically sitting there for the next three hours, give or take. It was a long time. What's going through your mind? Whenever I walked in there and they, they wouldn't let me change, they wouldn't let me have my backpack, they wouldn't let me have anything, uh, or my phone, or, or anything like that, and I knew I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. The checker flight comes out, Wayne comes to see you what do you say in that moment i mean I, I was super frustrated and i knew we were gonna have a good day minus the damage you know we could have survived to the end and as long as we didn't get a wreck at the end of the race we, we still would have finished you know top 10 top 15. i mean part of me is like man i just want to tell them that that i think this is bad call and the other part's like i'm just gonna let them talk tell me what they want to tell me and uh that's the approach i took Josh Williams, one of the great veterans in the Xfinity Series. He's not just a driver. He does everything for this race team. You're driving for a small team. Now you're going to miss miss a race. What's the impact from that standpoint? A small team like DGM relies on driver and owner's points at the end of the year. We rely on that that points fund to, to pay our employees so we can keep them on and make sure they have a job and to, to refurbish our cars and, and to get things ready for next year so we're prepared. And I mean, I don't regret it at all. Like not one bit. To see all the people kind of get behind it, you know, the fans and, and other drivers, and, and uh, it was cool to see all that. The punishment fit the crime in your eyes? I think so from from our standpoint. Missing that one race could change our off season or change our, our year next year. Josh Williams is a great person, but this man goes to a children's hospital every single weekend. As you've over the years done a lot of great things taking the time to go to the hospitals and, and be with the kids how did that all start taking place 20 2015 i think uh, we had a mutual friend and um, one of their family members was in the children's hospital we we're like well, well let's go see her and we'll bring the car so all the kids came down and looked at the car and and we went and hung out with some of the kids you know in their rooms and stuff and i left there in tears and it's life-changing to see the kids get so excited i mean they forget about everything that's going on that made a world of difference, and I was like, man, we got to do this again, and we ain't stopped yet. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.